When you look at old-timey photographs, everyone looks sad or annoyed. Truth is, they were probably just bored. That's because when you got your picture taken back then, you had to stay perfectly still for what seemed like forever. And it's way easier to hold a sneer on your face than it is a smile. As cameras evolved, sitting time shortened. But the price of a photo still remained high. A photograph was not something everyone could afford. Enter Anatole Josefo, inventor of the photo booth. Well, inventor of two things, a coin-operated machine that took pictures and some special science paper that developed itself. No need for dark rooms or negatives. The first photo booth, awesomely called the Photomaton, debuted in Times Square in 1925. People lined up and down the street to use it, buying strips of eight photos for a quarter apiece. The result was a quick and easy way for the average Joe and Jane to snap a quick pic of themselves, their sweethearts, or their family pet. And because of a privacy curtain and lack of a photographer, people let their guard down. The resulting photos were looser, goofier, and more natural than the stilted and stiff portraits of before. Today, old school photo booths are few and far between, but their digital descendants are much easier to find. And while they won't produce that distinctive chemical smell or the anxious anticipation of waiting for a strip to plop out, these digital booths can add a fun DIY touch to a wedding or your dog's 56th birthday party. 